Hi, everyone. This is Stephanie Badalino with another edition of Walk the Walk and Talk the Talk. And this is kind of the part two to the part one that I had done uh, and spoke about the abyss and kind of the conundrum of authenticity. And I think the companion piece to this that I want to talk about today is, is what I call the ripple story. And it's all about allyship because as I look at an, an upcoming Transgender Awareness Week, which will be next week, starting on November 13th, which will culminate in uh, Transgender Day of Remembrance Services on the 20th um, around the world. Um, I think a lot about, and I reflect a lot about the things that I've typically talked about um, at uh, two-door services in the past. And you know the the key themes, you know, and authenticity authenticity was one of them. But the other piece is the ally piece. You know, if we want these horrific murders, this loss of life that continues to happen to trans and non-binary people around the world, we need our allies. It's like I often say, you know, it's here in the United States, we make up what one percent of the population, one and a half percent of the population. I think our uh, the latest number is somewhere around three, somewhere north of 330 million. So you can do the math uh, on what that number is. There's not that many of us. We need allies. We need people that, while you may not be able to walk in my shoes because you're not trans, we need you to walk alongside of us. You need in lockstep with us. You need to please. Um, stand in solidarity with us because it's not just trans and non-binary rights, it's human rights. That's what this is all about. And we need our allies. We need people that will stand up and say, when they are confronted with those teaching moments to say, no, what you just said is wrong about a trans person or is very derogatory or pejorative. We need our allies. And the story that I like to tell around it, and when I talk about allies in my book, I do write about this story as well, so you can find it there as well. Um, and if you haven't bought my book, I, I would love for you to grab a copy. Uh, you can go to my website, stephaniebadalino.com. It's on sale now through the holidays. Um, and I hope it speaks to you in some fashion, um, as it has for countless people that have reached out to me that have read it. Um, already. Um, and, and I call this the ripple story. And it's basically like a visualization. You know, you're on a, you're on a lake out in the wilderness somewhere, out in the woods. And it's really quiet. And it's cloudy. You know, you, it's, you know, you might hear some birds flying overhead or some rustling in the trees. But as you look out over the lake that's in front of you, it's like glass. There's no wind. Nothing's happening. You can see the reflection of the sky and of the trees in the lake. And then suddenly it begins to rain softly. And with each drop that hits the ground, hits, hits the lake, a ripple is created. And then there's another, and then there's another, and the ripples begin to intersect. Well, you're one of those drops of rain. And that circle of people around you is the ripple. So many people say to me, Stephanie, what can I do? How can I make a difference? What, what can I do to support the movement? And what I say is, you know, you don't have to you don't necessarily have to paint in such bold and broad strokes. All you need is a finishing brush to influence those individuals that are closest to you in your circle, family, friends, colleagues. They're all right there. And that's the ripple that you create when you stand up and say, this, I stand in solidarity with my trans and non-binary siblings. That's the ripple you create. And think about it, as more drops fall, as more people 
embrace that same notion and seek to influence those that are closest to them and educate them and change hearts and minds, the ripples begin to intersect. And as the rain increases, the drops hit the, hit the, hit the lake and more ripples happen and more ripples and more intersect and more intersect. And then suddenly that change that we seek is actually happening. We're creating a movement. We are making a difference. We're changing hearts and minds on a much broader scale. And that's what we need in the trans community and in the non-binary community to move us forward, to move us away to a place, hopefully in the future, where while we will always have Transgender Day of Remembrance Services to honor those lives that have been lost in previous years, wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a service once and for all where there were no new names read, that we didn't lose any life in the prior year? having allies by our side and standing in solidarity with us and helping to raise up the voices of those that cannot raise their voices is a way that we can do that. So as we move into Transgender Awareness Week and through it and get closer to the Transgender Day of Remembrance Services on the 20th, please keep these thoughts in mind because you can make a difference you can change hearts and minds. And in so doing, you can change the world. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Make sure you love each other and take care. Bye-bye.